I'm going to cover the steps on how to change a three-way switch and this is a 30 year old condo and so I'm going through the condo and changing all of the switches and outlets just so it's not a problem and if you have two switches that operate one light you have a pair of three-way switches and if you look at the three-way switch it is not marked with on or off so the first step is we turned off the electric to the circuit and I grabbed a uh, floor lamp so that we have some light and now I'm going to unscrew the two screws that hold it to the box so in this box we just have one cable coming into the box and we have one hot wire going to the common screw and then we have two hot wires as our travelers and these are connected to the two light colored screws and so what you want to do whenever you are changing a three-way switch is always mark the wire connected to the dark screw and in this case it's this blue wire so I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and mark this and I know when I unscrew all this that this is the wire that's going to be connected to the dark screw on the new three-way switch. In this old switch they use the push-in terminals on the back of the switch and that doesn't give you as solid a connection it's only being held in place by one little piece of metal so the way to remove this there's a slot here and I'm going to push a very small screwdriver or an awl in there and depress that and that will allow these wires to be pulled out and on the new switch we're going to wrap them around the screw terminal now that I removed the old switch you can see that the wires are stripped about a half an inch and what we want is we want about three quarters of an inch of the insulation stripped so that we can create a nice little hook for the screw terminals on the new switch so what I'm going to do is take a wire stripper and I'm going to strip these back to about three quarters of an inch on all three wires on the new switch you've got a common the dark screw and you've got two travelers and depending on the manufacturer you could have the dark and a light colored screw on one side or the common on one side and you can have your travelers on the other side we're going to connect the wire that we marked from the old common to the new switch the dark screw and the common is the wire depending on the switch it's either going up to the light or it's coming from the service panel and we're going to connect this hook in a clockwise direction so that as we tighten it down it's going to force itself on. If we were to wrap that counterclockwise it could actually push itself off. And now the travelers they're going to the other three-way switch and it doesn't matter which screw we put it on so you can grab whatever's convenient and attach it to the screw. And here in the Chicago area we have metal conduit going all the way back to the service panel so many electricians do not use a grounding wire because everything is grounded back to the service panel with this metal conduit but if you do have a grounding wire you would then connect it to the green screw on a three-way switch it is not marked on or off on the switch itself so it doesn't matter what side is up or down and just as a safety I'm going to wrap the screw terminals with a piece of electrical tape and because we have metal boxes this is just going to protect somebody in the future if they did not shut off the electricity to the circuit and they pulled it out they could actually uh, short it against the metal box so that's all there is to it very simple to wire a three-way switch